it's Kara Corey here from Kara Corey Fit Life, and the holiday season is upon us, and I'm loving all things spicy and festive. So today I'm going to make for you a protein snickerdoodle cookie that you can have in your arsenal to take to holiday parties and things like that. So the first thing we're gonna do is preheat the oven to 375 degrees. I've got that started, and then you're gonna spray a cookie sheet with some non-stick cooking spray and put that off to the side. You're gonna need two separate bowls. We're gonna mix our wet and dry ingredients separately. So to start with our dry ingredients, today what's perfect for the snickerdoodle cookie is gonna be the cinnagram. So if you have this on hand, you're gonna definitely wanna use this. If not, you could definitely use like the MTS Whey Vanilla and just add a little extra cinnamon to it. But this really helps give it that snickerdoodle uh, flavor. So I'm gonna add one full scoop of this and add that to my bowl. And I'm going to measure out the flour we're going to use today. I'm going to use oat flour. And for that, if you don't have oat flour on hand, you could use whole wheat flour, or you could grind up some oats and make those into a flour. We're going to use 40 grams of this, which ends up measuring into a third of a cup. But it's always best to weigh it to get it precise. So there's about 40 grams. Next, I am gonna add some Splenda to sweeten it up. And I'm going to add probably a heaping of a fourth of a cup. And I will taste the batter before it goes in to make sure it's sweet enough for my liking. For flour, I'm also gonna add a little bit of coconut flour. We're gonna add two tablespoons of this. Again, I'm gonna go ahead and weigh it and it measures out into about 14 grams. And then our last dry ingredient to make it rise, we're gonna add one teaspoon of baking soda. I wanna level that off. Okay. And I'm just gonna stir that around real quick and then put my dry ingredients off to the side. For our wet ingredients, I'm gonna start with, let's see, one whole egg, and I am gonna add the, the yolk to it. I've got measured out, you're not gonna be able to see it, but 15 grams of coconut oil. I'm gonna dump that right in there. That's optional to add the oil to it, you don't have to. Um, I'm adding the oil um, just to give it a little bit more of a better texture so it's not, sometimes when you cook with whey, it can get a little spongy. So it's a fine line with how much fat you omit from a recipe. But I am gonna add one third of a cup of pumpkin and that does help give the product a little moistness. So if you're not adding any oil to it, it should still be okay. I'm gonna add one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Again, that right in there. And if I have enough left, you guys, depending on your macros, you could use regular maple syrup. That would make it taste super delicious. But I'm gonna use this sugar-free maple flavor and add what's left of it. And then buy more at the grocery store today, which is about a fourth of a cup. So I'm gonna take my fork, blend that up real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and add the wet to your dry. Okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and stir that all up. And we do have one ingredient left. I'm gonna add the cinnamon after. But I just wanna first get this all blended up. Wait a second. I say we scratch making cookies. Seriously, this batter, like you guys, I can't, you don't even know. I know there's a raw egg in here and I risk salmonella, but it's worth it. It's so good. I don't think I wanna make cookies anymore. Shit, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna make the cookies. I'm gonna follow through and make the cookies. But if you want, you could stop right there. Um, maybe sub out and use like pasteurized eggs so you could eat it raw because that is slamming. That would be a slamming dip to just like eat. But anyways, the last thing I'm gonna add in, I don't usually measure cinnamon, I'm just gonna add a buttload of it in there. 
that is a, a cooking term, a buttload, so you guys should know how much to add in there. Can't add too much cinnamon in a snickerdoodle cookie. And what we're gonna do is also sprinkle a little on top too, because it wouldn't be a snickerdoodle cookie if it wasn't sprinkled with cinnamon on top. Oh my God, that was so good. So good, can't get over it. All right, next, we're gonna take our, I'm gonna drop some stuff, and then we're gonna take our cookie sheet and just usually take like a spoon or a tablespoon. You're just gonna drop a spoonful for each of your cookies onto your cookie tray. And then when I, when I get these all in the tray, I'm gonna get them in the oven. And what I would say is keep an eye on them. It really depends. Snook, snickerdoodle cookies, like some people classically like them nice and crispy. I tend to like any of my cookies, regardless of what kind they are, a little bit on the soft side. So I'm gonna put them in eight to 10 minutes and see where they're at afterwards because I'd like to keep them a little bit softer. So we'll see you when they're all done. All right guys, so I added a little extra cinnamon and Splenda on top, which I did not show you on film, but feel free to add a little bit more. I like to because it gives that nice sweet cinnamony flavor in every bite. So this recipe made 12 cookies and I only cooked mine for eight minutes because they get nice and toasty on the bottom. They don't get super crisp, but they stay nice and soft, which is just the way I like them. So these are very macro friendly, low in carbs, good amount of protein and just a little bit of fat. So hope you guys give this recipe a try. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to go to tigerfitness.com, get your Cinegram needs and celebrate the 24 days of Christmas. Check out all those deals and keep checking back for more recipes.